All right, today on Tic Tech Note, we're going to take a look at uh, forms and specifically a, uh, an add on called Form Mule. Form Mule allows me to uh, send a form, or excuse me, not the form, <clears throat> the send, the um, response information, the, the information that's gathered in a form to someone else in an email and it formats it so it looks like an email instead of me having to go and copy and paste it out of a spreadsheet that catches all the all the responses but it just it's one you set it up and you when you as soon as you hit submit or if you put it on a timer it'll it'll generate an email pull all the information that you filled out onto that form and send it out to other people alright so the way to get started is to get into Google because it is an add-on for Google I'm in my district my school districts Google apparently and I'll just have to go to new I need to make a form first so I'm gonna click on new Google Forms I already have one started here uh, gave it a name and started adding some questions now some of these questions are one that I'm calling required it means they have to be done they have to be in there uh, if I'm going to my ultimate goal is to be able to collect information and then be able to send it out to someone whether it's back to the person who filled out the form in the first place or to another person I'm going to need to have the name of that person that's going to along with their email address the person again who's going to receive it otherwise it won't know where to send the email to uh, and then I can have a series of questions and, and notice the difference between this and this other is I made the ones with the email the email be required that way I don't accidentally forget or they don't skip that part because if they skip the email address and try to send it it won't ever send them the message and I really want them to get that email message with their responses in it so this one is one that's not required which means if they skip it then they'll just get a blank message uh, next is observer uh, this one you don't always have to have, but what I found is that if there's there are principals, assistant principals, uh, academic coaches who are going around and, and doing observations of teachers or other people in their building, and they want to make notes, use a form as a way to kind of make notes of the the good things they saw, and and be able to to send that form to uh, the teachers. So they say they get immediate feedback of, hey, here's some awesome things I saw in your room. Uh, here's some things you could do that I think would make it even better. They can have that information all sent out. Well, that's great, except for often these the, the people will want to share one form instead of having their own form. They want to share so they each have a sh share form with two other people. And uh, you, the way Formula works, when it sends the email, it looks like it's coming from one person because that's it uses just that one person's email address to send it but it actually may be coming from someone different so for that purpose uh, when we have shared forms that we're sending out the results to people we want to I have a I have a question I standardly will add that is who is the person doing the observation and also a place to put their email in here that way um, that way you can put that in the reply to part so that if they want to reply, they can reply back to the person who actually observed them versus the person who just sent the e who the email came from. It'll make sense in a few more minutes. But again, for shared forms, this is a must that you want to have the name of the person that the other people, a place for that, the people who are sharing that form, um, sharing that form, uh, a place where they put their name and their email address if they want to be in the reply to part of the email. Alright, so uh, once I'm done, again, I got as many questions in here that as, I, as I want or need. I'm going to click on the tab that says Responses. Once in the Responses tab, there's a little button here for adding a uh, few responses in a sheet. And once I go to this, once I go to this, There'll be one more page that popped up here, but I had to stop because there were announcements going on in the intercom. Uh, there'll be one more thing to ask you, but you want to put it in this, in this one and, and, and it has the, the same name, or if you want to put it in a different one. Uh, I don't have that one right in this video, sorry. Uh, anyway, so they click that. It's going to bring them over to this. 
new form responses because it matches the name of the form, new form. And you're going to need to add, make sure that you have the form mule add-on. So back here, I'm going to go to the add-ons tab. And if I don't have form mule, which I do, but if I don't have form mule, I'm going to go to get add-ons. And form mule is an add-on that only works in Google's sheets or spreadsheets. It will not work in anything else, not Google Drive, not Google Docs. If you try and find it in any of those other ones, it, it won't show up. You have to be in a spreadsheet for you to be able to find this particular one because it's it works only with spreadsheets. So I'll do a, a search, and it's this one. It has a little cute mule here on the side. Form mule email merge utility. Uh, if I don't have it already, I'll just click the blue button that says free, and it'll ask if it's okay to attach that to my account. I'll click accept. I already have that one, so I'm not going to do that. Then I can walk through setting this up. All right, so I'm going to go down to add-ons and form mule and set up or launch. If you haven't set one up already, it'll say launch. Uh, and then you'll need to choose You'll need to choose, because normally it doesn't say anything, you'll say select a sheet. And uh, you'll need to choose the one that matches the one that matches the name of the sheet that you're on. This one happens to be called Form Responses 1, so that's what needs to be here. You have two ways. You can either have it set to Send on Submit. That means as soon as you finish filling out the form, or whoever finishes filling out the form, and they click Submit to give you the information, it immediately generates an email to them, the email, or you can do set on a timer so that it starts, uh, it sets all of them at the exact same time once a day or once a week or however often. I, I prefer the form, send form one submit. I think that works just fine. All right, and then I'm going to click on the blue button that says next. Uh, templates and send conditions. So by default it's going to give you just the one. You can have the ten, but I, I just deal with the one. Uh, you you, ha you can change the name if you want to, but I usually leave this for send all rows. Save. All right, now I'm going to edit. So this is the part where I'm making the email. So that it's going to look more like an email form. Uh, all right, in here, notice these, dot, these ones with stars, you have to do something. I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to choose. These are the different uh, parts of my questions. These are the parts also that, that match the, the labels in each of the headings for my spreadsheet columns. So email required. I have to have an email. Luckily, I put that in as one of my questions in the new form, in the form in the first place, because I knew I needed it. So I just click there with the, put the blinking cursor here and click email address, and it puts these little brackets, the word email address, and then close brackets. Uh, reply to, because I'm sharing this with other people, I'm going to put the observer email there, because I want them to, if they have any questions, I want them to reply back to me. So right now I'm setting this up as if I'm using this for an observation where I'm, I'm walking around, I'm looking at the things that are in people's classrooms uh, or, or what they're doing in, te when in teaching and giving them some some feedback about what I see and, and what I could what I could help them to do to make it better. Uh, email address and then subject is required. Uh, reply to isn't required. You could put not re no reply. That's fine. Uh, but I happen to want to, to give them the opportunity to, to email me back. So subject observations in your class. And then the body, that's when I make it look like an email. So I'll type dear space. And then click name. Now something different happened this time. Instead of just brackets with name, 
that matched this field here where it's going to pull the name out of the spreadsheet it also gave a label I don't really want it to say dear name colon and then put their name comma this is what I saw so again you're gonna if there's any sentences that you need to kind of make it more like an email instead of just a list of stuff and I visited your room all right so the only question in here that I have that's not about who it's from or who it's going to is this one here how are you feeling liking your new learning technology? Now this one, maybe this one I do want to leave the label because I didn't, I mean I have not put sentences here as the answer choices. Alright, so sincerely and then I'm going to use the observer name but I don't want the label. I'm going to delete the stuff with the colon and the name. And then the same thing, I'm going to put the email in there again. This is kind of a general signature. So pretty much this email has been formatted. So I've got, again, the email address that I have in my form is going to be the person that's going to, uh, the observer email, because again, I'm, I'm using this one, I'm setting this one up as if I'm a teacher who is sharing, or a, an administrator who's sharing, who's sharing a uh, observation email or observation form with other administrators so I can do a walkthrough and, and give feedback and, uh, to my teachers. And then I'm gonna, and then I have my, the body of the email, and then the kind of the closing and signature. So again, it looks just like an email. Preview and send. So if there's anything already in there, at this point in time, I can go ahead and send it. But I don't have anything in there. But it is fully set up and ready to go. Now, all that, all that was done, gets you back to this. So again, here's the form I made. Here's where the responses to that form are going to be kept, but I need to fill it out. And for this one, I need the live view of the form. And it looks like this. So now, if I'm going and doing observations, I'm going to observe Tracy Hoover and her email address. Well, actually, you know what? Tracy's going to observe me. Because I want you to see what the what the what the print the teachers would get, and she would have to fill out my email address. And then Tracy is the one who is observing me today. And then she's going to check her own email. And then Tracy would hit submit. And she could then go to the next person down the classroom list and observe them and keep going. Uh, what I'm going to get, let me go to my email real quick. What I'm going to get in my email is a is a is that feedback that was all that I set up that nice little email that I set up to be able to rainbow spinning wheel of death you gotta love it there we go go into my email and as soon as it decides to give it to me
Let's go a different way. Apparently my outlook's being slow this morning. Oh, there it is. Here's what it looks like. Maybe. Two other people. So, here's the observations. Even though it was it was said that Tracy filled it out, notice that it came from myself because I'm the one who set up the formula in my account. But uh, in here, in here it says "Dear Chris Pugh" because that's what I put for my name. You put Mister or Mrs. or whatever. This is what I saw in your when I visited your classroom. That's the sense I type. How is it? How is your new learning technology? I put, or she put, great things could have some more. Uh, sincerely, Tracy Hoover, fill out her name. There's the stuff that I typed in manually, and then here's where it pulled that that from the checklist. And if I hit reply, Would that be every it's not going to go back to Chris Pugh, who sent the email. It's going to go to Tracy Hoover who actually fill out the form, which is pretty awesome. Again, a little complicated to set up on the outside, just look, just take it step by step. You want to start with the form, put your questions, make sure that if you are, that uh, you have a place for their name and their email address, uh, other people that's going to, if you are sharing this with other people, get a place for them to have their email addresses so they can add it to the reply part. Then. Get your responses on a spreadsheet, add the formula, and walk through piece by piece to add in and make the form look the way you want it to look so that when it sends out, it looks like a polished email and you're not having to retype all that stuff or take a screenshot or something else weird. All right, that's formula uh, and kind of a, a, a little bit of a, kind of a quick overview. All right, uh, hope that helps.